From the nonpartisan Maddie Institute and the California Channel at the State Capitol, this is a Maddie Policy Brief. Welcome. Recently, California experienced some strong job growth and low unemployment, but many Californians may feel that that's not really happening for them because their family median incomes continue to lag or economic disparities persist. What is California's economic forecast? Is it sunny or cloudy? We're fortunate to be joined by Sarah Bone, a research fellow with the Nonpartisan Public Policy Institute of California. Answer some of those questions. Welcome. Thank you, Mark. So uh, the numbers indicate the economy is performing pretty well. Uh, state unemployment rate is near a 30-year low. Uh, job growth has outpaced the nations for five years straight. What's the problem? You're right, Mark. We are in one of the longest economic growth periods that we've seen in the last 30 to 40 Yippee. years. It's great news. Um, that's based on statewide economic measures. Okay. But I think when you look a little bit more closely, you discover a much more varied picture with some nuances that are important. For example, there are disparities across California's regions, across California's industries, where not all are performing as well as others. And then when you look beyond just kind of the unemployment rate at the people who are not even looking for work, so they're right. not included in the measure, um, there's a much more kind of uh, difficult picture that you see. There are almost as many people um, who are able to work but are not even looking for work because maybe they're discouraged about their opportunities right. as there are unemployed people in California You're going to take that unemployment number and double it. Um, right. So um, the growth in California's labor market, is it following historical trends? I would say overall that's correct. Um, you know, our jobs and unemployment kind of ebb and flow with recessions and recoveries, and we tend to swing a bit more than the U.S. That's been true of the last 10 years or so. Um, but like I said, we're now in one of the longest growth periods that we've ever seen in the past at least 30, 40 years. And so unless something is really different about today, which we're not seeing signs of, we don't really expect that growth to continue. And then the other thing that's a little different from historical trends is that more people are actually out of the labor force than historically. So part of that is due to the aging population, right. just fewer people are participating in the labor force. But part of it is due to this disconnection, like I mentioned, between you know not having the job prospects right. match up with kind of the skills. And some of you give up, you look for so long and you say, forget it, I can't find a job. Right. Um, you know, you were talking earlier, the overall economy is improving, um, but there's the, the economic indicators are uneven. And so you mm -hmm. were talking about some areas, some areas geographic areas and also industries that are missing out. Can you go a little more right. detail into that? Sure, there are these persistent differences that are not really different than we've seen historically, but nonetheless um, point to kind of different experiences that people have across the state. So um, the Bay Area, Orange County, San Diego have really lowest unemployment rates right. in the state. It's about double that in the Central Valley. Um, although in the past year, actually, job growth in a lot of Central California, including some Central Valley counties, has really outpaced the state, which is good news, mm -hmm. I think, for kind of economic prospects right. widening. Do you have a reason for attributing? Why, why is that? Well, I think they were kind of slower to catch up. Um, yeah. The Bay Area and San Diego in particular kind of were the fastest to kind of recover from the recession, and it's now kind of trickling down, I think. And what about the, the industries like, you know, construction right. versus services versus manufacturing? How's, right. How was the difference there? So the service sector is really what led us out of the recession and continues to be the kind of engine of job growth. Okay. Um, and construction has picked up as well, so they're growing jobs at a really fast pace. This is kind of where our declines in unemployment and job growth is coming from. Manufacturing continues to kind of lag behind, and over the next 10 years, we think it, that will continue. It's interesting, in manufacturing, people think it's, you know, it's going to come back, it's going to come back, but it's been going on a downward slide for a while. Now, it'd be interesting to see if there's more money spent on defense spending. California's typically benefited from that. We'll see if it happens in the future, but that could possibly change yeah, that, but that's, um, right. that's a kind of a wait and see. Right. So let me ask you this. So looking ahead, what are the uh, prospects, the economic prospects for the average Californian? That's a great question. I mean, when you look at uh, income numbers, um, like you mentioned at the beginning, um, the, the middle family in California, the kind of average Californian, in terms of their income is still doing a little bit worse than they were about 10 years ago. It's been improving, and so that's good news. And we think that's probably likely to continue, at least in the short term, because the job market is tightening and wages have finally started to go up. But, you know, as we talked about these disparities in economic opportunities across regions, industries, and workers are is really kind of what I think we need to focus on for increasing the prospects for the average Californian. Just making sure that the they have the skills and training that's required of the jobs of today and tomorrow. And, and that's really where, you know, individuals, employers, uh, educators and policymakers really need to work together to make sure we have that kind of skilled workforce that the economy demands. And so I just want to end very quickly with this. So education, big deal, right? Big deal. I'm assuming. Right. Okay. I want to thank that forecast for the uh, California economy. For a more in-depth analysis of this and other public policy issues important to Californians, 
please log on to our website at maddieinstitute.org and click on the Policy Analysis tab.